So I pulled this trailer to a Tupelo the other night. One of my lights wasn't working. I hadn't had these out since I built this trailer. And uh, I guess it was 03 when I built this trailer. I built one of the first four or five things that I built when I was in this shop. So I got me some more lights, some new ones. And go figure. I got them off of uh, Amazon. We're messing with the, I'm prying this out with the new Milwaukee screwdrivers here just seeing how they, how they feel. If I'm going to like them, come out there. So, uh, yeah, she's coming. Well, you can tell them seals are. Cool beans. Still got grease on them things right there. Just plug and play. Light factory. Light factory. Let's go get the other side. Yeah. These are LED. Man, when I built this trailer here, they I don't even think LED even existed yet on these kind of lights. And I've been wanting to change these things out. This was the only one that was burning over here. These are just the old incandescent style. Another old Peterson right there. Those wires are tight. This is just tubing, and I cut a piece off for each side and welded to it and then cut a hole and then put a cap on it right there. That's what I did when I made those things. 
That was back in the day. Okay. All right. Let's see if it works or not now. You know, to make the lights work, you need to plug them into the truck up there before you start tearing everything apart, checking things. I didn't get quite that far, but I was close. Thank God I wasn't filming that. I might have heard some cussing. Don't say you ain't never done anything like that before either. Just say it. All right, so tonight in the Instant Pot, we're going to cook breakfast. I've got some real st stone ground grits in here. For those of y'all who don't know what grits are, they are very, very good southern breakfast food. I'm sauteing them right now in baking grease. Uh, take two tablespoons of baking grease, put it in there, set the Instant Pot on saute, and... You brown it for about three minutes, stirring it, and then you add three cups of water, a cup and a half of heavy whipping cream, and then you put the lid on her, and you bring it to pressure, and you talking about good. So I'll be back in just a little bit here once I get this through browning up right here. All right, here it is all mixed together. Got the three cups of water, a cup and a half of heavy whipping cream, a little bit of sea salt in there, and some butter floating around in there. See it right there. Now we're about ready to pressure her up and let her go. So the lid's on it. She's coming up to temperature now. It's gonna cook for 10 minutes, have a 15 minute natural release, so Take 25 minutes, and you talking about good. That right there is some good stuff. So we got biscuits in the little oven right there. We got some bacon, and we will be following that up with a few eggs to go along with the grits. Really, it has put that paper towel over it to catch the steam right there. Mm. So tonight in the instant pot, I'm gonna do some boiled peanuts. These are raw peanuts. These take a good bit longer to cook than like green peanuts. Green peanuts take about 45 minutes to an hour, I think. These right here are gonna take more than a couple hours to do these. So all you do is put one of those in there, or you can use a concentrate. I think it only takes about uh, a teaspoon of the concentrate. Let me do this right here. Hang on. So, two pounds of peanuts fit in there perfectly. It calls for a third cup of salt, but I don't put quite that much. I go just under, just under it. And then we're going to, there's a water line over here. You don't want to get no further than that right there. So we're going to fill it up to right there and then we'll be good to go. So hang on. So that's what they look like in there. Now, all we do is make sure the seal's in there right. Yeah. Oop, okay. Alright. 
latch it down. Okay. So we're going to go here. We're going to go to... Last time I did this, it took a little over two hours. So we're just going to go to full two hours and 30 minutes right there. Oh, hi. We're going to hit the start. The rip tether tip. I just used a stainless steel one in there on this. I didn't use the uh, non-stick one. Just let her go. Uh, those are not soaked or anything. I just put them in there raw just like they are. That's the reason why it takes them uh, better than two hours. But it's still better than doing them in the crock pot or anything like that. Because I've done them in the crock pot several times and easily takes like all day like 20 something hours to do it so that's how you do it So there again, just got a working on a trailer and then cooking in the Instant Pot at the end of the video. The next thing to conquer in the uh, Instant Pot is going to be, I'm going to do a low country boil in there. I'm going to look that up and I believe it'd be, I believe it'd be really good uh, to do one of those in there. Um, not sure what this week's video is going to be. Uh, I got a chainsaw video I need to get out uh, running the 394. I cut some, uh, got a hold of a huge uh, sycamore stump for a guy and cut some tabletops out of that stump for him with the, with the 394. I did toward the end, I did run the 572 some on it too, so you'll get to see it. I got some stuff to do with the 572. I've got uh, one of those big chunks of red oak that I brought home here. I do have a um, 28 inch bar for the 572 now and I'm going to be put, I'm going to put it on the 572 and the 372. We're going to pit those saws together against one another and I'm also going to run the Milwaukee electric saw too. We're going to see how it'll do in that red oak running it through there. But um, so we got uh, several things coming up. I'm going to try to do a live feed this week sometime. One night this week. I'm not sure when it'll be. Um, I don't know. Somewhere between 6 and 8 o'clock. Something like that. Live feeds are tough to tough to do. They're Because um, man, when you hit go live, it, it gets kind of crazy there. And, and, uh, but they're, they're fun. But there's, well, there's a lot goes on in them things. Uh, so we'll we'll be logging tomorrow. We're supposed to get some rain this week, so I don't know how bad that's gonna hurt us or affect us there or anything like that. So we'll just we'll see. And there should be a giveaway at some point in uh, one of the one of the videos from this week too. I've got uh, I still got several things from Hus Honor to give away and then I got some uh, other stuff. I got a new toy that came in uh, Thursday that I bought and paid for and y'all will be seeing it very soon. It's, uh, it's, it's pretty cool. I messed with it some today. Uh, got it out, got it, uh, kind of got it going. I didn't take it outside and use it outside. I got some more videos to watch on it, things like that. But uh, Hope y'all have a good week this week, good productive week, and uh, we'll catch y'all later. Later, Taters. So if you'll notice, the flag is not up right now. Got the, uh, I meant to mention something about it in this video when I was filming that right there, and I failed to. I took it down a while ago because we got uh, cleaning ladies coming tomorrow, 
And so I got it out of, I took it down so it wouldn't be in her way and uh, put it up. So while she was vacuuming and stuff like that. And, and I don't know if she goes in that closet right there and vacuums in there. I have no idea. So I just went ahead and took it down. But y'all be, y'all be seeing it back up there. So it's, it's not going nowhere except for just get out of the way for a little bit there.